about a ricochet just McBride header was the closest they came in the opening 20 minutes Alan Dornan playing at left back in a reshuffled Linfield defence tested Glens keeper Neil Armstrong from distance and the Glentorrent back four was altered as well Colin Nixon in the centre George Neal at right back due to the suspension of Michael Smith on John Devine whose height was certainly missed as Linfield took the lead. Alan Ewing's header making it 1-0 to the Blues. The Glen still worked hard to create chances. Eddie Cunnington will be disappointed he didn't do better here. Then the bright snow obviously impaired Neil Armstrong's vision as he picked up a back pass. Indirect free kick awarded. Darren Erskine miscued. Glentorin left their best football of the half to the end, but found no way past Blues keeper Darren Crawford. Deputising superbly for Wesley Lamont, he produced two fine saves. The first from Cunnington and the second from Londoner Glenn Little, who displayed some silky skills. Unfortunately for the Glen men, not often enough yesterday. In the second half, the orange ball burst, and the fans weren't happy. But the ball couldn't be changed, only white ones left in East Belfast. And the fans weren't the only ones who had trouble seeing it. Glenn Little did have the ball at his feet somewhere when hacked a couple of times. But it wouldn't be Boxing Day without a bit of a scuffle. Although Jeff Spears needlessly wanted to take the fight somewhere else. The Glentorn defence certainly didn't catch sight of the ball or Alan Ewing as he scythed through to pop in Linfield second. Ewing epitomising the Blues prowess in the midfield area yesterday. Glentorin didn't quite throw the tile in just yet. Trevor Smith had his header cleared off the line by the extremely effective Philip Nell. But Ian McCush sealed the 3-0 win for a patched-up Linfield team without the likes of Gorman, Campbell, Byrne, Fenlon, Beattie, McLean and Miller. The Blues sliding back.